Hi y'all. Have you been wondering where we've been? Well, this week we're going to let you know. We are the Roads Rules family and these are our travel adventures. We invite you along with us to explore our amazing world, discover your own passions, and inspire your own dreams of travel and discovery. Along the way, we will share tons of information to help you plan and prepare for your own adventures. And always remember, life is a journey. You hold your map. Let's go wonder. We have had a ton of life happen in the last two months. We got back in November from our first big, massive RV trip out west. Uh, we called it Westward Expansion. We came back with lots of fun memories. Tons. And also, we came back with COVID. COVID-19. Um, we came back the day before Election Day so that we could, we'd be able to vote. We hadn't been feeling so well the weekend before we got home and decided to go get tested before we were around the public. So we quarantined for our 14 days. Yeah. We were never in any personal danger. Very mild cases, I, yeah. I think. Yeah, it was pretty um, mild. I mean, we um, were down. Yeah. But I mean, it, it, it put us in bed. Yeah. Um, but we were fine. Our kids were fine. And uh, we got over it. And that brought us up to the very busy holiday season. When it comes to our life, we have very large families. We live in the community where we grew up, so all of our family is relatively close. So when it comes to Thanksgiving and Christmas, we have tons and tons of people's houses that we typically We have go lots to. of traditions. And lots of awesome traditions. Yes, things that we want to be a part of and <laughs> yeah. we want our children to be a yeah. part of. Um, which is one reason we did not, we choose not to travel during the holidays. Right. However, this year, it was it was very different. Our, our crowds weren't nearly as big. We tried to be very responsible with our families and, and everybody. I mean, if, if somebody had been exposed, they didn't come around. During that time also, uh, just like everybody, um, our businesses were definitely impacted by COVID-19 in 2020. We were trying to close out the year strong by doing a lot of different things. So point is, we were very, very busy. And editing these videos, we love it. I mean, we love producing the videos. But it takes anywhere from 20 to 40 hours a week of, of my time editing. And for us to sit down and plan things, that had to go on the back burner for a little bit. And so that's where we were. The other thing we had done is Casey and I went through the RV together. Any little thing we found that we might that we thought might need to be fixed under warranty, we put it on a punch list. We knew that this was going to be a lengthy process. So what we chose to do was give them our punch list and let them go through it and kind of get all the warranty stuff started. So they'll take pictures, they'll, they'll write up the issue, they take pictures of everything, and then they take that and they submit it to the warranty department at whatever your manufacturer is. Probably three or four days after we picked our RV back up in Bossier City, Louisiana at Camping World, the service department got right back with me, let me know that all of the issues have been approved for warranty work and that they've got parts on order. Now, it may take anywhere from three weeks to three months to get these parts in. That's not their fault. Right. It's nobody's fault. It's COVID's fault. They did say that with COVID, it takes them double the amount of time. Yeah. You could certainly leave your RV with your dealer if you wanted to. We didn't have to. <laughs> you see, They're collecting wood. You see Caleb in the background. <laughs> Um, so we chose not to leave our RV with our with, with the dealership just simply because we wanted to continue traveling. So what they're going to do is as they collect all the parts, as they get everything in, they'll let me know when everything's in. By then, we'll be back home. We'll take it back. We'll get everything fixed over maybe two or three weeks, however long it takes, and our RV will be ready. Yeah. So it reduces the amount of time we have to be without it. Yeah. So, so that's a little tip. If, if you have an RV and it needs to go in for warranty work, if, if it's, you know, if it's not something that keeps you from using it, continue to enjoy it. In the meantime, we've been planning our next adventure. Which is where what we're on right now. Yes, um, we decided to do a winter retreat in Florida. So we're traveling all the way through Florida to Key West. This will be a separate series that once we get done with our Westward Expansion series, you'll see everything that we're doing in Florida right now. So it's gonna be a few months before we release this content. However, we're also on other social media channels. So we have Instagram, we have a Facebook page. We also have a blog or a website. We're trying to get better about updating that and, and making sure we're we're releasing posts that are in conjunction with our videos. We want 
it to be a tool for you to plan your trips as well. Another big thing, on New Year's Eve, we had a local friend who also had COVID-19 and was struggling in the hospital. And so they put out the APB, the, you know, to, to all of our friends and everybody that had donate COVID. Plasma. Donate some convalescent yeah. plasma, donate some blood. And so we, of course, said, absolutely, yes. we're, we'll be there to donate. That evening, Casey was donating. They took me into the, the donation area and uh, they took my blood pressure. It was 209 over 112. I knew I'd been feeling poorly. I'd had some headaches. I thought it was some stress just due to business and the holidays and everything going on. So I, I was ignoring it. And those um, headaches were another reason we we kind of fell behind on our videos. Yeah, I couldn't even see straight. My head yeah. was hurting so bad. Obviously, with blood pressure that high, I could no longer ignore it. And I immediately saw my medical practitioner and was able to, by the way, my mother is a nurse <laughs> practitioner. She's and so me and she, uh, she, uh, she was there for the rescue and ordered up some blood work, found out where my numbers were. And we as a family had to make some very critical health decisions. I'll just go ahead and tell you, I hit my max weight of 315 pounds. That was pretty astonishing to me that, that I've let myself get that unhealthy. When I look at our family and I think about the fun that we had on our travels, the adventures that we get to enjoy, the, the people's lives we get to impact, we have to take better care of ourselves. There are some things that we enjoy doing. We learned in 2020 that we love to hike. We loved to ride bicycles. We learned that we love to not just get outside and sit in a chair at the beach, which is how we've traveled for many, many years, which we enjoyed. But we enjoyed being active. Yeah, we enjoyed being active to the ability that we had. And what we learned was our ability was pretty small. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were many of those hikes that you've seen us on and that you will see us on that you don't see us when the camera rolls off where I'm doubled over and can barely breathe because we're at 8,000 feet or whatever. So 2021 is the Rose Rules family's opportunity to take our health back. And this is not a New Year's resolution. This is not something that we just want to be lighthearted about. We have made some pretty big changes in our life. We've changed the way we season our food because we're from Louisiana. We love some good seasoning in the food. I cook with a lot of salt. If you would have asked me a month ago, two months ago, if I cooked with a lot of salt, I would have told you no. I don't cook with a lot of salt. Now that I've made some changes and we've made some changes and we've started looking at these things, I cook with a ridiculous amount of salt, y'all. We've made some changes, some big changes. We're being more active. We've got more fruit in our life. We've got way more healthy choices. <laughs> yeah, just, and, and just and some small choices. Yes. So we're not on a diet. We're just making better choices. We're not going out to eat as much, which is awesome in an RV because when we travel, we have our food with us. We have our kitchen with us. And the reason we're sharing this with you is because we want you guys <laughs> to either A, join us, or B, or just both. hold us accountable. Or both. We really need some accountability. I think having a community of people out there that care, that would like to see more of our adventures, learn more, maybe even join us on some adventures. So if you have any ideas that you would like to share us, so here's, here's the things that we want. We want your recipes. If you've got great low sodium, low sugar, low carbohydrate type meals that are non-processed foods. We want to see them. We want to try them. But we need those healthy option menus if you want to share those. And a big one is snacks. What do you do for snacks? That's the hardest thing. I mean, chips and snack cakes yeah. and, you know, the things that we have for years been kind of a part of our diet. They're no longer a part of our diet. So now we've got fruit, some vegetables, but what are some other things that you can pre-prepare? Also, we bought bicycles for Christmas, and that was one of our, our steps to be more active. We're looking at maybe getting some kayaks down the road. So what are some activities that you do that are awesome for exercise, awesome for movement, awesome to get your heart rate up, but at the same time, provide some adventure with What are some suggestions that you guys have? Obviously, hiking, things like that. We'd like to know what you guys do to, to, to stay active and to stay healthy. We look forward to, to rallying around this. We're not gonna become a health, and health food and fitness channel. We don't really wanna be that, but this is a big part of our life and we wanna share it with you and we want you guys to hold us accountable. So. You'll hear a little bit more about this in yeah. the weeks and months to come. We're pretty excited about that. Next week, we'll be back in Yellowstone and moving forward with our Westward Expansion yep. series. So. Lots more to share <laughs> about our fall trip. Let's go under.
Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our Roads Rules channel. And always remember, life is a journey. You hold your map.